Hey YouTube, it's Drew1. I just want to do a short video on my 2013 Toyota Corolla S Special Edition. i uh, got a few modifications uh, here I've done to it. We start off from the front right here. Put some uh, 6000 K HIDs in the headlights. Uh, the turn signals are LED with the switchback. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the blinkers, they will actually blink um, amber and steady on is clear. Also put LED lights in the fog light, driving light. Uh, also with the headlights, I have disabled the daytime running lights. I uh, saw a video on YouTube on how to do that. So that's been done to it also. So... Let me show you with the uh, blinker. Well, actually, I'll do the emergency flashers. As you can see, they blink amber. And they're steady on clear. And I'll do one of the blinkers for you. So as you can see the blinker on the driver's side is flashing amber and the steady on is clear. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I install those. Um, also under the hood. Put a K&N cold air intake on it. Uh, I noticed the power difference probably between 3,000 and 6,500 RPM. Not really a whole lot of difference in the low end. But it does make a lot of difference in the noise, which I can live with. Um, also on the outside, I uh, got the windows tinted a little darker. I added 50% all the way around on top of the factory tent. It was pretty dark. And also swapped out the factory wheels for the Inky TS10s. They're uh, 18 by 8. And I put the Toyo extensors on it. They are the uh, side of the. Yeah, you know, 225, 45, 18s. I like the way they look. Also, I just ordered a boiler exhaust kit for it. Cat back. See how that sounds when it comes in. I think it looks a little, makes it a little bit different than just having this uh, factory wheels on it. It actually looked like it might have lowered the car just a little. You tell me what you think. Do you like these wheels better than the factory wheels? I think it came out pretty good. And I can give you... This color is actually called Hot Lava. I didn't get a chance to clean the inside the car. It's supposed to rain today. I just kind of wiped the outside down. Give you a little sound of how the intake sounds from inside. So it is a bit of a difference. Uh, in this car, we also have the the seats are done in orange, stitched in orange. Uh, haven't really done much to the inside except I put the husky floor mats, which I think are awesome. Keep a lot of the dirt out. Got a pretty decent leg run back here. Um, I think that's about all I really did to the uh, car so far. Thinking about putting some TRD lowering springs on it. And that should lower the car. I think it said uh, half inch in the front, inch in the back. I mean, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not yet. Uh, also. I 
stop using armor all on my wheels because I find that it slings all over my car. So I've been doing some research and I found this coverall stuff you can buy from uh, it's O'Reilly's. It's the only place that I saw it has it. And it works pretty good. It smells really good. Doesn't sling all over your car or your wheels. You just spray, just spray it on. You don't even have to wipe it off. So I thought that was okay. Just to give you a tip on that. Maybe you want to try it. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it for the Corolla S so far. Let me know what you think. Thanks.